friends, we are live. Hello, Marley Birds Minion Group. I'm so happy to have you here. Uh, this is exciting to bring to you today the quote unquote new team of MarleyBird.com because they have been part of my team. Gosh, have you guys been on since October, September? Like I can't even remember. October, anymore. yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty, it just, but you know what? It just felt like you, you hit it in stride. Like you, you jumped in at the busiest time of year when I was at my biggest need and it has just been amazing. Um, so I am going to introduce you guys to the Marley's Minions and um, I'm going to let you tell them a little bit about yourself. And then we're going to dive in about the Buy Crafty Bootcamp. Before I talk about these two lovely women in my life, I want you guys to say hello Please let us know in the comments below where you're joining us from tonight, whether it's here in America, if it's in Argentina, or if you're in New York or New Mexico, let us know where you are. And don't forget to hit that like button. That is very important. That makes sure that the algorithms in the Facebook world, um, they're like, huh, a lot of people are liking this video and they send it out to other people to watch it. So we want to make sure that that happens. All right, y'all. Um, so I'm going to make sure while you guys are doing that in the comments, I'm going to pull up my screen so I can make sure I see those comments. It takes me just a second. It's a little bit wonky here, but I'm going to hit at me. There we go. I have to make sure I mute mine when it's going to come unmute again here in a minute because I got to click to expand and then it unmutes it. It's ridiculous. Um, so hi, there's so many of you saying hello, which is fantastic. Um, almost a hundred of you saying uh, uh, hi here. And so that's just great. So I'm going to jump in and I'm going to start off with my, I I've been calling her my executive assistant because it makes me feel super fancy. So, <laughs> um, I guess I I'm going to start back just a little bit further. You guys know and love Caitlin and my Caitlin was with me for, I think Caitlin worked with me for four years, three or four years. I don't know. It feels like forever in a good way. And Caitlin has since moved on. She works with We Crochet now in, in, in I, I'm so happy for her, but it left a huge void at marleybird.com to which I have three different people now that have come in and helped me fill that void. These are just two of the lovely women part of that crew and I'm thrilled to have them. So my executive assistant, who is literally the person that keeps track of my calendar, tries to wrangle me and is starting to head up a lot of the events. If you've won things before, you've been in touch with Chrissy. If you have purchased the um, stash busting bundle that Moogly and I did, the whole customer support team, that's Chrissy. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you, you know her, but you might not know her yet. But um, this is Chrissy. And I'm going to let Chrissy tell you a little bit about her before I jump in and introduce Catherine. So Chrissy, take it away. Yes. Hi. It is so exciting to be here. I have talked to lots of you. You guys have been wonderful. Very welcoming. Um, I live just outside of Baltimore. Um, I have been crocheting for a really long time, probably probably not as long as most of you, but it feels like long to me. So I've been crocheting probably about 12 years now. Um, yarn is my favorite. I literally don't go a day without touching my hook. So it's become a huge part of my life and moving over here to work with Marley has been a dream. I absolutely love it. She's just as wonderful in real life. We'll say in real life as she is behind the camera. Um, but it has been so much fun and we're so excited about this series coming up. Um, and we'll get into that in a minute, but I just wanted to say hi and thank you so much for being so welcoming. Awesome. That's great. Um, so that's Chrissy. If you can't tell, she is a crocheter. Uh, and so then we have Catherine and Catherine, I don't even, in my mind, you're, you're my content director. So that's really where I have you in my mind. That's what I call you to in my head. Um, yes. but Catherine has jumped in to my blogger world and my SEO world. And she is not uh, unaccustomed to that. She comes from a very good blogger background, was a blogger previously, sold her blog, has a lot of wonderful experience in the crochet world, um, in the, in the, I can't think of the correct word, in the writing world, so to speak. Uh, she's very intelligent. She's uh, super smart, so kind. Um, and her, her words as she writes things out very articulately, and it's very much what I would say and how I would say it. So it's been lovely. A lot of the different um, 
very informative blog posts and stuff that you've seen out there has been has been Catherine. She does some wonderful interviews. She does but great, great reviews. Um, she's she's a huge asset to my team. Like I I can't even tell you. Like it's just a huge huge asset. Um, and so Catherine, tell them a little bit about yourself. Awesome. Thank you. Um, wow. What an introduction. I feel so special. I, I love being part of this team. I just want to say that it's been so exciting for me. Everyone is so great. Um, Marley is as wonderful in real life <laughs> as she seems in her videos. Um, so I'm Catherine. I'm in San Francisco. I apologize if my voice is a little laggy here. I had an unexpected trip and my tech isn't working right. And in the future lives for this series, I will be in my normal setup. So <laughs> flying, by, flying by the seat of my pants here. But I am um, from San Francisco. I started crocheting. I'm a crocheter. I started crocheting when I was about 29. I went through a period of super bad depression. And that I, I found my way out in large part to crochet. So those of you who know me or who've seen my writing around, I've written for you name it in crochet and I've probably written for it. I've written for lots of blogs, lots of websites, lots of magazines. And my emphasis has always been on using crochet to heal, to improve your life, to make friends, build community, all of those things. And so that's kind of the lens I come from, although I'm interested in all things related to crochet, obviously. Um, so I, uh, Marley, do you want to say anything about the series or do you want me to launch into what we're doing here? Well, give me just one second because there is a third person to our trifecta team oh, yeah, here. I yeah. mean, I'm, I'm counting you guys as the trifecta. I'm just this person over here that's like, <laughs> oh. just, just run it. Um, <laughs> so for, first off, I do want to say thank you to Selena Baca. First off, you guys know I have a huge crush yes. on her. Like huge crush on <laughs> Selena Baca. I love her so much. Love I would be so the much. big spoon to her little spoon any day. Um, <laughs> Um, love her because uh, she actually recommended Christy and Catherine to me. So that is how I got in touch with these lovely ladies. And then I also have Meg Ekman who works for me. And I worked hand in hand with Meg quite a bit at Red Heart. She was actually one of the people there that helped bring me into the Red Heart team originally. Um, she knits and crochets. She is all things social media. So everything you see that I have pinned or on Facebook or anything along those lines that's uh right here on the marley bird facebook page that generally that is meg and meg works hand in hand with chrissy and Catherine to coordinate what gets posted you know what events are we doing what do we need to make sure is out there like guys it's it's so crazy how well oiled it is and the fact that they've only been working for this little amount of time in the busiest time of my entire year it's crazy how great it is. I mean, it's such a godsend, such a godsend. So if you didn't pick up on this, Chrissy and Catherine both mentioned that they are crocheters. You didn't hear a lot of the term knitting coming out of their mouth. <laughs> and so when they came to team Marley bird, of course I was like, well, you're going to have to learn to knit because <laughs> I'm not just a crocheter. I do both. I am by crafty to which they took that ball and that ball of yarn and ran with it, right? <laughs> um, so I'm gonna let them talk about the details. I'm sort of just here sitting back and moderating. I'm actually gonna pull out my knitting and let you guys talk. So there whichever one of you wanna chat, you go for it. All right, I'll, I'll let you go ahead and start. Yep, that sounds great. Um, yeah, since you mentioned Selena, I will say really quick, I have an interview about her new book coming out on the blog, I believe later, late next week. So, um, so look for that. Also, if you, Chrissy here, if you want to know a little bit more about her, I do a column in the Happily Hooked Digital Magazine every month, and it's about how crochet heals, and it mentions this project we're about to talk about in a little bit, and for that this month so the april issue of happily hook she's in that and marley was featured in that in november so it those was. are just a few <laughs> it pays to know people <laughs> <laughs> so um so this series so like marley said she she said we should learn how to knit but i've also i've always thought about learning how to knit i just hadn't done it yet i had some supplies but 
you can do a whole lot in crochet and there's a lot of things to learn. And I just kept kind of sticking with my comfort zone. And when I came on board here, I thought this is a perfect opportunity to learn from someone who knows crochet and knows knitting and knows how to teach. And um, well, it will obviously help me in this work too. So uh, we started talking about it and we thought there's actually, Meg, especially the other person on our team, had noted that there's so many things crocheters know that do make learning to knit easier. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't really thought of that part of it. I hadn't thought about, I'm not coming in exactly as a beginner. I'm definitely the, the part I've practiced in lesson one that we posted this week. I'm, I am a beginner, definitely. But there, there are so many things like, okay, I already know how to do a slip knot. Oh, okay. My cast on looks terrible, but I understand the concept of tension and why it's so tight because I was a tight crocheter before. So um, so all these skills, it makes sense to me to say, oh, through the lens of crochet that people already that people, of course, anyone can learn to knit through this series um, because it, it tells you from the ground up how to knit. But we're including these tips about how to make it easier for you if you already know how to crochet. And, um, and so, uh, I lost, I, I took my, my brain went two different directions there. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me all the time. <laughs> that happened to me tonight as I was ordering dinner at the restaurant. I was like, no, 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 don't leave. We want to order. And he goes, okay, what's your order? And I go, uh, <laughs> and he goes, I saw that just leave your brain. <laughs> and I was like, it totally just did. <laughs> a heck of a day a heck of a year <laughs> right uh, so yes anyway um i am thrilled to be here and to learn to knit alongside of you and so a lot of what i'm going to be sharing in these lives in the blog posts that we that we do we're going to do once a month blog posts that kind of summarize our learning and a lot of what i'm going to do is sit like talk about the actual benefits that I know come also from knitting. I know intellectually knitters also experience benefits like stress relief, like mm -hmm. feeling better self-esteem. You've completed a project or these different things that I am an expert in in crochet. And I'm super curious to see how that does or does apply or applies differently with knitting. So one of the things that came up right now as I'm learning is, oh yeah, I know that it's all, you know, calm and focused and all this, like I have all these good positive associations with crochet. I kind of forgot that those first few weeks when you're first learning, it's a wonderful thing and it's very exciting, but calm is not the word I <laughs> it, it feels good because you're mastering a new skill, but you have not mastered it yet and it's hard. So those are the kind of comparisons I'm going to kind of try to bring out and look at and see what I can share with you as far as my own personal expertise. And then we're also just going to be sharing what's going on as knitters. So I, where I'm at with it right now is I use the videos. I learned the cast on. I feel like I'm, I, I feel like I got that first cast on row. I'm getting it. Uh, the first knit row, haven't quite got there yet. I kept fiddling with it and I was like, okay, I just need to put it down for a minute. I'm just going to cast on about a million times because this feels like I'm learning something and I'll get to Look, figure out this knit stitch video tomorrow. So that's where I'm at in my journey. And I think I'm going to pass it to you, Chrissy. Yeah, sure. So um, kind of in the same boat as Catherine, right? So when you crochet, I think it's only kind of natural that you're like, hmm, I think I want to learn to knit too, right? Because we have these creative minds and we see these patterns and there's so much you can do with crochet, but there's just a certain look of some patterns in knit that you just can't achieve in crochet, or at least I haven't mastered that yet. Right. Um, so learning to knit was always something on my radar. Um, and who better to learn from than Marley. Right. I mean, that was super exciting to me, like <laughs> knowing that I can sit there and text her and be like, Hey, what the heck does this mean? And no, she'll answer me, right? <laughs> Not everybody has that privilege. <laughs> so I was really excited about this. Um, and it's true. There are so many things that you um, intrinsically know as a crocheter that you don't realize that you know that really do shift over, right? So holding your yarn, right? That's something when you first learn crocheting, and I'm sure when you first learn knitting, and you've never held yarn before, it's awkward, right? Because you're like, what do I do with my hands? 
I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> yeah. Um, Why so is tension so loose. You don't even know what right. it's called. You don't even know it's called tension. You're right. Like, right. You're like, Why is it, so so, it looks like noodles. What's yes. happening here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so like, yeah, that's, that for example is one thing. And, you know, even when it comes to reading a pattern, right. So I'm not there yet. Right. I don't know what they all mean, but you kind of already have your mind in that abbreviated version, right? Because you, you're, you're used to reading crochet patterns. You know that that abbreviation stands for a stitch and that's what you're going to use it for. We may not know what they all mean, but it's easier to figure it out, right? Um, so I'm just, I'm super excited to figure it out. I, I did several years ago teach myself how to knit and how to purl. Um, I never made a single thing because I was so bad at it. So I've been practicing for a, a few weeks now or several weeks, I guess. Um, cause I jumped on one of Marley's, um, free knitting classes that she did and her beginner one oh one class I jumped on. And so I've been practicing for weeks. Um, so I'm, this is, this is my beginning of this project, right? So my little teeny tiny <laughs> beginning of this, right. But I'm feeling like they actually look like they're supposed to now. And that's really exciting. Right. Um, and I, I just, you know, it's one of those things, like Catherine said, when you first start, you forget, I forgot how mad I was when I first started <laughs> crushing, <laughs> mm -hmm. how angry it made me. Right. Um, so it's, it's taken a little bit for the anger and frustration to go away. But I think I'm at a spot now where I feel like I can learn some things. Now this is week one. So let me not get cocky because <laughs> week two is coming <laughs> and I may not be as good there. Right. Um, but my part of this, that was really, really fun. Um, you guys know that I love to spoil you for giveaways. Like I have so much fun and get so much joy and listen, I'm really bold. So yeah. I go big or I go home. I and am not afraid. Big. <laughs> big. Like, I am not afraid to ask for the moon. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like pretty woman, you didn't participate in the bike crafty boot camp. Big mistake. Huge big mistake. <laughs> like Huge. seriously, that big. Big. Huge. Yeah. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. <laughs> That is so good. It's so true. <laughs> it's so true. Oh, you did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't, can't help you. You work off commission, right? I know. I, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. I went to some of the top knitting companies in the industry and I asked for the moon and boy, did they deliver. Um, they gave us a lot of amazing tools for us to try to show you. Um, that's one thing, right? In crochet, when you first started crocheting, you probably went to Walmart and grabbed yourself that $1.99 aluminum hook and got yourself started. And you know what? That's awesome. It's awesome. Like There's nothing, yep. There is I, nothing wrong with that nope. at all. It's exciting that those tools are available. I just said the other day, my husband laughed at me because here I am with all my fancy crochet hooks <laughs> that I paid hundreds of dollars for. And I got so excited because I my dollar store has yarn and neat hooks now. <laughs> and he said, why do you care? And I'm like, because you know what? There are people that that's all they can do to get started. And that excites right. me that that's available. That is uh, so And true. you know what? Knitting is exactly the same way. I know it is. You can go and you can grab those aluminum needles and they're going to do the same thing for you. Yeah. But when you begin, when you started crocheting, you realized quickly, you know what, this aluminum hook, it got me started, but it's not what I want. I want something that's a little more comfortable in my hand, or I want something with a sharper inline, or I want something with more of a point to it. When it goes into my stitches, you learned as you crocheted, you adapted to your skill level, right? So as you progress in your skill, you learn what tools really work for you. Um, and so knitting is the exact same way, right? You can walk into a store and there's so much selection or hop online and there's so much that it can be overwhelming where you're like, 
I don't even know what that does. And am I going to drop a couple hundred dollars on a whole set if I don't even know how if I'm going to like it, right? So our goal, part of this series, our goal is to really show you these tools, explain to you how they work, right? Tell you what the pros and cons are. You know, we were no bars held, right? I mean, yes, these people sponsored us and we love them for that. We're very excited. Well, uh, we, but we, we handpicked them too. So we didn't yes. just go to any company. Right. Like that's right. Chris, Christy came to me. It was like, well, Marley, what do you like? I'm like, xyz like these are the ones like these are the ones i like so we reached out to her we we, we being chrissy reached out to them because she's bold i am big mistake Huge, mistake. Huge. <laughs> huge and you know what they were so wonderful not a single of them balked at working with marley they were excited they are so happy to be part of this and we are really excited to to feature their products to show you guys what they have available um, to really explain to you what certain sets are for. Um, there are some sets that I know I am not going to be ready to touch for a long time, but I'm going to figure out <laughs> what they, they sure do, how pretty. they're, <laughs> they sure are beautiful. Sure and are I'm going to show them to you. Um, Can I so, jump in for a sec, Chrissy? Yeah, sure, please. I just wanted to say, you know, the yes, you were bold and you did so much to get us that stuff, but you also mentioned that they were happy to work with Marley. And I feel so confident because that that is more assurance again that marley is established in the industry she knows how to teach people how to knit and she right. she's i love the bi crafty aspect i love where knitters and crocheters are not divided in marley's community they That's come right. together and this is like such the best example of that yeah so the fact that they are excited to work with us on this mm -hmm. i think also speaks to her credibility and how right. i'm excited to learn from her because how amazing that i get to learn from her in this free series. Right. So that's, so, that's you awesome. Feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. And it's exciting it's because true. as you guys join, like Catherine said, there's no division, right? We encourage the by craftiness. We encourage everybody to learn everything. Learning something new is always of value. You're never going to learn something new and regret it. Um, and so what a better time to to take the time to learn something new, to become by crafty in a free series where Marley Bird is teaching you. I mean, that's huge. <laughs> that's yeah. huge, and that's exciting. Yeah, she made me. Feel I wanted like to. She... I don't know. It feels good. <laughs> you just sit and knit and look okay. pretty. You're fine. You're right. you're great. <laughs> Let us do it on you a was... little bit. Okay. <laughs> the other thing I was going to add there, Chrissy, not to not to take away from the doting on Marley because she deserves <laughs> all of it, <laughs> um, is when you mentioned about the the needles. Oh, I was so overwhelmed. I was so overwhelmed yeah. by all these needles we got. What are they? Um, for the most part, I definitely agree with what you said. Start start with what you can start with. If that's the mm -hmm. dollar store version of needles, awesome. Learn. I will say the one thing I've really quickly learned that for me anyway, the material of the knitting needle matters more than it does in crochet because yeah. in crochet, you're only holding one loop on the hook. So it pretty much stays there in knitting. You're holding all the loops on the needle and they move around a lot more. So, um, I'm working more with the metal needles right now, but I've played a little with the, the bamboo needles and, I am noticing that there is a difference. So if people are starting to go out and buy some things, and I know you're going to show them more of what we have, but I just yeah. wanted to add that if people are going to go out and buy some things, I personally would say, if you're going to buy more than one, buy a different material just to see how that works as far as the ease of keeping these, uh, these loops on the needle. Right? Yeah. A hundred percent of your needles. That's, that's a key, that's a key component to all this. I know that that's a topic that you guys are definitely going to dive into, whether it's, it's plastic, aluminum, metal, um, like bamboo. Uh, I mean, there's so many different types out there and really like I'll switch between different types, not in a project, but for each project. Like if I'm working with a really slick yarn, I'll tend to go with the bamboo. If it's one that like, it's going to fall off, but for most everything else, bamboo are too slow for me. Like they, they grab the yarn too much. Mm. So I like things pointy and slick, like the faster, the better, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. But that's not everybody is like that. You know, it's just yeah. like, you know, there's boy or Susan Bates or furls or clover right. or tulip. And 
it's you know, it's the same sort of realm world and realm you're going to find what works best for you you know and as you dive in we're going to talk about circulars versus straights because so many people have only seen like if you're just a crocheter they're like what is this circular thing what is this all about and reality like the majority of knitters i know now all use circulars like it's so rare to use straights anymore but you know unless you're in this world you really don't know that um right so i know you yeah. plan on talking about that a lot mm -hmm. yeah we'll definitely talk about that and there are two blog posts already up that you can find on the blog i think they're both linked to in the blog post for the that describes this series but they both talk about knitting needles so one talks all about that what are circulars what are straights what is size mean on needles of course as a crocheter you kind of have a sense of that you know that mm -hmm. a size eight hook is bigger than a size seven hook and you use it for different yarn etc and it's the same with needles but the the ultimate guide to knitting needles on the site already starts to go into that a little bit yeah. so that should be a good resource for people i don't know if you link to this or not Catherine, but several years ago we did like a knitting needle review like um it was it was caitlin and Brittany and i and like it is intense like that's a good one to look at too i not only linked to it i updated it oh even better <laughs> so it's, even it's, been, better. it's yeah. been updated with some new information some fresh new links it links to the <laughs> video where you guys originally described those things and uh it's seo it's seo post like boosted now. i told you guys like she's amazing like she's amazing. a wizard yeah a wizard you're a wizard catherine you're a <laughs> wizard you know what? i love 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 writing and i love 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 yarn and the fact that i can be around people and do that writing about yarn is just i mean i'm the luckiest person in the world so i'll go above and beyond to try to write well about it for that reason yeah. Awesome. awesome. Yes. The Marley bird blog guys, marleybird.com. You'll see a link to the blog. If you're not a part of it, be a part of it. Subscribe to the RSS. Make sure you sign up for the newsletters. I have two, by the way, sign up for both. <laughs> yes. And make like sure the Marley's, you... what is they call, they call it the Marley's insider. And then there's the newsletter. That's like a bunch of just free patterns and stuff, but yes, there's also the Marley insiders. Anyways, go ahead. And make sure that if you join us for this buy crafty boot camp that you sign up for that as well. Cause yes. then you're going to get weekly emails from me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Talking about how much we struggle, yeah. how we end up in a ball of yarn, a knot of yarn. <laughs> um, but yes. So talking to what you said about materials. So you'll see that I switched to the bamboo <laughs> because I was using the metal and things were just shooting off all over the place. I'm like, what? I can't keep anything on here. <laughs> It was a hot mess. I'm like, I, it's moving too fast and I'm moving too slow. Things are shooting off all over the place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. I like, I only have one pair of bamboo needles on my table. Everything else is metal. Everything. Yeah, see, once I, I'll get there, I'll get there. Right. I'll get there. It'll happen. Um, I mean, so I just wanted to, um, just show off, probably not go into too much detail today. Cause we're, we're really going to focus each month. Um, the way we're kind of going to do it, Catherine and I each month are going to use tools from the same company. Um, and we're going to really dive in, talk together, make sure that we're using a bunch of different stuff, getting a feel for things so that we can give you guys a real in-depth view at what these tools are like. Um, so, I won't go into everything in too much detail, but I do want to show some of the stuff so that if you guys do decide to join us, um, you can order some of these things. If you're thinking about that, if any of these speaks to you, right. Um, so the bamboo ones that I'm using, um, for my project right now are from Chiagu. Um, this is their, um, five inch completes interchangeable set. So it's like really beautiful. The color is like a patina color. Um, and they gave us, you know, there's 14 inch, 22 inch and 30 inch circulars, which are awesome. Um, they actually gave us double, um, because I asked for double because Marley told me to, I don't, you know, I don't know why I need them, but I'll find out you and will. I'll tell you. <laughs> Everybody, if you order interchangeable sets from Chai Gu, first off, they're amazing. I love their sets. I'm like, I'm using Chai Gu right now. Love them. Do yourself a favor and just order double all of the cords. Just don't wait. And I know that it's a big investment to order the full interchangeable set. 
just trust me on this. Just order the cords now for both the large and the small. Cause you had the larger size and the smaller size order, double the cords, just do it. You, you won't regret it. it. It will not be you. It's one of those things. It's like, you just should do it. You know, you just should do it. Marley's like the Godfather. So like when Marley told me <laughs> order, she's like, I'm going to need you to order some extra cords. And I'm like, you got it boss. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. I trust you. <laughs> well, good. Because you should. I trust you. That's awesome. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so the other cool thing about this set from Chiagu is they come with um, a whole instruction <laughs> pamphlet in here that tells you all what the parts are, how they work, what the pieces that come with it. They come with the end stoppers, T-shaped keys for tightening it. Um, and they tell you what all of it means. And then they're on the back even here, they go through all of what their tips are. I mean, it's a, a wonderful informational sheet. Um, it's a high quality product. They want you to understand what you're buying and know what you're doing when you get this kit, right? Um, and it comes with two, um, a needle size gauge, one of these tools. Um, and there's some stitch markers in here and then the end stoppers and the T keys. So it's a, it's a wonderful, high quality, well thought out, um, set. Yes. And then I also pulled, so these are all just, um, you know what, let me show you guys these. So these Can we just are say it was like Christmas as all the needles were showing up at the house. Like I would yes. open up a message. They're like, these needles showed up today. <laughs> it was just really exciting. It was, it really was like Christmas. Like every other day it was, something was coming and I'm like, oh my goodness. They really, <laughs> spoiled us. like it was very exciting. Um, so that's, so Chiagu actually, am I saying that wrong? I say Chiagu, but I, I don't, I honestly don't know. Maybe that's something we should ask them. I've always called should. them Chiagu, but it might be Chiagu. Chagu chai. Yeah. I feel like I need to ask them. Okay. I'm going to reach out because I'm not scared. And yeah. she's a sweetheart. I scared. love her. She's very, um, nice. so they also sent, and I, again, I won't go through all this stuff, but they did. They sent us sets of their DPNs, their steels, their bamboos. They sent us their steel full set, like the bamboo interchangeable. Um, they were very, very generous. They wanted us to show you guys all their products and we are happy to do that for them. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm excited. They're, they're beautiful. First of all, they come in these gorgeous little books here. They're gorgeous. Um, very high quality. And then Jimmy beans wool, um, oh, wanted to participate. Them. I love that. They're so sweet. I um, love Laura Zander yeah. is like, she's amazing. Um, amazing. If you I ever mean, get they a chance are to like, look up Jimmy beans wool story, they're amazing. Yeah. I yeah. love them. Love, love, love them. I love all their maker tools. And I love, they have like, again, by crafty company, they have both. Right. Um, I love all their maker tools. They sent us some project storage that I'll show you in a second that I was really excited about too, but these are their, um, super six. Let me see. I have the thing right here. These are their inner or smart sticks. I'm sorry. They're smart, smart sticks. Um, super, they are super, <laughs> they're smart sticks. So <laughs> these are really, really neat because they're interchangeable, which I'm finding that I love, right? Because then you don't have like all of these needles, right? I mean, I love the fact that it's just in this little book and I can put the cords on, right? I mean, I love this. You just buy um, multiple cords. <laughs> right. <laughs> buy multiples. The Godfather told you buy multiple cords. <laughs> I love that you get close to the camera or the microphone when you say that. I'm like, I have to. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. You're going to make me, oh, you're going to make me lose it. Oh. So these are really, really cool. The smart sticks because they also are, they have measure notches, right? So it's almost like having, you know, I'm personally, I'm constantly pulling out my measuring tape because I always feel like my thing, my, whatever I'm making is not big enough or wide enough. I always feel like I'm off gauge. Like I, even if I meet gauge perfect, I'm like, Oh, I feel like this is wrong. So I love that these right here on here have measures. Um, there's a two inch here. They have, you know, it goes by 
some of them are two inches and four inches. And then I think the taller ones are a little bit longer. Um, but yes, very neat. These also come with a bunch of cords in the back here. Realize that. Yeah, they're yes. If you look on them, Catherine, they're very neat. Um, and this the little insert that they sent us. It's a tape measure, a knitting needle, and one. Very cool. Awesome. Very cool. Awesome. Um, Catherine, and for you're me, frozen again. I just want to make sure you know that. Oh yeah, your picture is frozen. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um. And for me, I'm, I'm a very colorful person. So I love that these are like multicolored. I do dig the like one color stuff, but multicolor really wins my heart. So, so these are a plus. My favorite color is rainbow. Yeah. That's my favorite color. Rainbow. Awesome. rainbow. And then they also sent us these, which are actually um, Knitter's Pride Zing, but these came from Jimmy Beans. This pouch I feel like Audrey Hepburn go into a ball with this pouch. Uh -huh. <laughs> like it feels so fancy. Yes. Um, again, rainbow, gorgeous. These are their um, straight needles, but a gorgeous set of straight needles. Um, I love the points on these ones. I was playing with these the other day. They're not super sharp, um, but they're not too dull either. They have a really good point on them. Um and again, I don't really know anything about anything, but to me as a beginner, that felt really good. I like the way love, it felt in my hands. Yeah, I love pointy needles. Like if they're more blunt, I'm not really as big of a fan. Like back in the day, collage yarns used to have some needles that were square needles and they had what they used to call a precision point. It was a very pointy precision point. I hmm. loved those needles. I loved them. I especially loved their double points because uh, I felt like it really helped people not lose stitches and you could really get and maintain gauge very well with them um yeah but they were they were some of the the sharpest or pointiest needles i've ever used and i like the the signature needle art stiletto points um i love the chaigu uh points they're they are not blunt at all the addy lace points are really good so yeah it's um I mean, it's again, it's all going to be personal preference y'all as you go. Through. Yeah. And I feel like these knitters pride zing, they are like a between the line, right? So they're not super pointy, but they're not too blunt either. So I really liked those. And they're affordable. They're, they're very affordable. Yes. Yes. Um, and then they sent us this really cute pattern keeper, which I really appreciate because I don't, I hate, I, I'm really bad at charging things. So <laughs> my laptop dies every time I'm in the middle of using it to crochet. So I love being able to print stuff out and keep it in here because when I just print it out, right, your papers are everywhere. So this was really cute. I actually really appreciated this. That's awesome. Um, and then they have their snap bag. So they gave us I love two different those. sizes. These are so cute. Yeah. They're super handy. I love it because I could throw this in a bigger bag with a bunch of stuff and it's not going to get all tangled in my keys and all the stuff that's in my big bag. So these are really cute. They just have snap closures here. Not going to lie. Like those are really good for travel. Also, whenever we're all allowed yeah. to travel again, they're fantastic. Yeah. That's I bet. I, I bet. Use. Yeah. They're fantastic. Like not just for your knitting and crochet, they're fantastic travel bags. Yeah. I mean, I, I totally could see that. I love that they snap all across the top. So they sent us this medium sized one with like some glitter and then this bigger pink one here. Mm -hmm. um, very nice. It's a very, I don't even know what you would call this material. Is it like nylon? You think it's, it's like a meshy nylon. -y, I don't know. It, they used to be like uh, namaste bags and then yeah. she purchased namaste. Um, okay. Laura purchased Namaste and she purchased, um, Della Q and she purchased Madeline Tosh. Um, she's, she's amazing. Oh, she's amazing. Yes. You know, their whole team awesome. is wonderful. They are all very, very kind. Um, and then signature needle arts, signature, you guys signature. know, I love me some signature <laughs> and signature was like, you know what? Take it all. You get knitting needles and you get knitting needles and you get knitting needles. They were super awesome to us. Um, and that in, in turn is super awesome for you because we really cannot wait to show you their products um, and give you a feel for what they're like. I mean, they, these needles are like butter. Okay. They're I like feel the Ferrari like Ferrari of knitting. 
I for real like tried one out and was like, I feel like I can do anything. Throw <laughs> lace at me. Throw at me some lace. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what That's what it felt like. It did. Hilarious. That's hilarious. Super fancy. Um, so so we, yes. Yeah, I have some too. I can pull mine out. Yeah. So these are their straight needles. Um, you can't, I mean, they're in the bag. So it doesn't really look like anything to you yet. Right. There you go. Signature needle arts. Um, and then they also sent us their circulars. And these, Marley, did I get the stiletto tips for these? I can't remember. I think yeah, I did. did. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, I so you can let you get anything else. Right. Actually, your camera is probably clearer than mine if you want to show them just how pointy that tip is. Um, yeah. It is. I mean, it's it's a serious point on these bad boys. These are the ones you probably can't take on a plane. <laughs> no, you can. Oops. Hold oh, on. you can. See? I'm sorry. I know I'm hitting the microphone. Yes, oh, you you're can. Fine. I've taken them on a plane before. See, look at that tip. Those are pointy, pointy tips there. And they're just so sexy and they're smooth and the join is great. Yes. The, the, the needle size is etched in. Um, you can actually order them with your own like name etched in them. Like they've sent yep. me needles before with my own names etched in them. Um, I, I can't say enough good things. Like you guys have seen me use their double points in the sock classes I've done. I've used the circulars. I love them. I love them. And even as a beginner, like it's very <laughs> evident. So like I, I played with all of them, right? Because I wanted to be, so I am a little, a little more versed probably on the needles than Catherine, but only because I had to do all the research, right. To figure out what we were going to get. Um, and so I wanted to play with them all. Look at that. I mean, that's like really pointy. <laughs> and this is the teardrop finish. Yes. We got the teardrop end. It's um, so pretty. But I did. <laughs> so I, I played with all of them. And even as a beginner who knows nothing, right? I had no idea that the material was going to make a difference for me. I had no oh, idea. Oh, yeah. um, but even as a beginner, when I played with the signature needles, I was like, I feel like I could make anything like I could conquer the world with these knitting needles right now. They're so smooth. You know, it's funny you say that. Cause even my mom, so you guys have, most of you have seen my mom's beginner knitting videos, right? So she learned, I purposely gave her plastic mini needles because I wanted them to like grab her yarn. Right. I know so this there's, secret. There's like a behind the scenes <laughs> thing off camera. She would, she was like, I don't want these anymore. And she threw them down and she's like, give me those nice ones. And I was like, oh, all right. So I went and grabbed some Addies and she's like, these are not your nice ones. I know you have, you give me your nice one. I am your mother. Give me your nice one. <laughs> I was give like, one. okay. It's so I gave her the signatures to use. I let her borrow them. I did not give them to her. And You're allowed like, to use them for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was like, oh yeah. Oh Oh yes, these are this is what we're talking about, you know. And then she was all, well, why am I using this acrylic yarn? Why don't I know you have some other yarn out there? I was like, Mom. <laughs> and so she ended up she, using like an alpaca, alpaca and silk yarn so with the signature needles for her first project <laughs> off camera. And she was like, Oh yeah. Now this, I, I can enjoy this, you know? So it really, it just kind of goes to show again, material can make or break something sometime. Cause That's right. I think if I would have kept her on those plastic needles, she would have. Quit. Mm. Mm. Yeah. She yeah. So you're happy. right. You're right. Yeah. She's like, Marley, I'll do whatever you want on video, but oh, you yeah. give me the good stuff yeah. behind so the scenes. That same year I bought her, <laughs> I bought her six sets of signature needle arts needles with the four oh, wow. things for mother's day. And, um, she was like, Oh, Mar oh, she goes, Oh, Marlena, I know, I know this is expensive. Why are you buying this? I'm like, cause mom, this is an investment for me. Cause if you decide you don't want to knit, I get them back. <laughs> she, coming back to me. I'm a win-win. <laughs> so, she was like, Oh, <laughs> you're like, Hey, I'm just being honest. You just asked. being real, just being real. But that's a true story. My mom really, she was just like, I know you have good, good, like good needles. And, and she, cause she had seen me use the signatures and I was just in awe. She's like, I know these aren't the ones you're talking about. I was like, okay, well, let me go get these. <laughs> and so 
She I'll let you try them, I guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that oh, is so funny. funny. I know. True can, story. True story. Can you guys can you guys hear me okay? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Much yep. better. So, I want good. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying over here. I'm trying to move <laughs> to the right places. <laughs> um, I just wanted to add that those videos. I've started watching those videos of your mom learning to knit because obviously that's another part, another another resource that you already have that I can go to to see how to do all this. And I am linking to some of those in the blog posts that we're doing for this series. So people who aren't familiar with that series who, you know, because they know you mostly for your crochet so far, um, your mom is awesome, by the way, the two of you bantering together is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So he's hilarious. I'm adding those videos as resources. So people should be able to find those in the blog post for the series. That's good. Yeah. The biggest difference there is that I was showing my mom how to throw and as crocheters Mm -hmm. tend to do continental. But it's right. the same movement, y'all. You just hold the yarn right. in a different hand. It's the same exact movement. So yeah. you can do it. Yeah. And honestly, we do talk, Catherine talked about that in the first blog post about throwing and picking and continental versus English style. And honestly, I have to say as a crocheter, I tried English style for like five minutes and was like, you know, that's not going to happen for me. No. <laughs> I'm going to need to do continental. I, I can't do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> But if uh-huh. I understand correctly, don't we have to learn English to do some of the stuff later, like the Fair Isle stuff, Marley? Well, yeah. If you do the Fair Isle, you can hold one in each hand. Okay. So, right. Yeah, that's where you can, just like the English sitters have to learn Continental if they're going to hold one in each hand. So, yeah, you can't. Got it. I mean, you don't have yep. to. There is a way to do it with both in one hand or to drop the yarn, but it is easier to have one in each hand. Okay. You're not there yet, Catherine. Slow your roll. Sorry, I'm I'm eager. <laughs> don't, don't scare me, okay? I just I can't do it. <laughs> I'll get I'll get there. Oh my goodness. You'll do it. I'm you're you're ahead of me. I just wanted to like throw out my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> throw it back at you, right? Um, so I wanted to say the one last um, company that decided to work with us was Prim, mm-hmm. um, and I'm actually so. Personally, I'm really excited um, to see how these work. I haven't tried these ones yet, I but I that. have arthritis in my hands. And so ergonomic crochet hooks are a game changer for me. They make a huge difference in my um, stitch definition, in my tension, making sure that I'm able to do it for a long time. I, you know, that feeling um, is amazing. And so Prim's, Prim's needles are ergonomic, which I didn't realize. Um, it's wow. hard to tell kind of, but it is an odd shape. Yes. So it's almost like a triangle shape, but it's easier to um, grab the, the yarn. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then like also, the tip, I mean, the tip makes it easier to grab the, the yarn. Point, yeah. I've never seen anything like their points. Yeah. So I, I don't mean, know it, if it looks can... odd. It, it looks odd. Look kind of like yeah. an odd ball is sort of thing, but it's great. Um, if you guys looked at like the DPNs I use for the, this or that, mid along last year i used these dpns i used okay. the dpns for that okay. um i had a lot of people asking me about them but that was my first time using prim and i i really enjoyed using them a lot like i was happy because i got the um, let me show them the box like i got the box oh yesterday. my word yes <laughs> it's a huge box all right so like okay hold on this was my chai goo box right just to give everybody an idea like there's the chai goo which was also a ton of stuff by the way yes prim. <laughs> like it's just overflowing yes. yes it was it was uh amazing to open that box and be like oh my word like there's so like, much in here there's little tiny ones the yoga cable stitch needle so I i'm know. excited about those yeah, these little tiny ones, like these would be great for like sleeves and stuff. And I mean, there's just so many needles here to try. And I'm excited. I'm excited about it. I mean, look, they even have a bigger set of that one. And then they have, they have the, the DPNs, which are great. Yeah. I mean, these are, these are really good needles. So it's a, a big box. Yeah. I'm really excited to try these out and see if I can feel a difference in my hands. Because my arthritis is really bad. And if I, if I go too long, man, I can feel it all along here down to my wrist. And so ergonomic 
crochet hooks make a huge difference for me. So I'm really excited to try these out and see. So I'll let you guys know if I notice a difference um, using these hooks. That's cool. Um, and then the last company that we worked with, which we, we don't have it yet to show off to you, but we're super excited because she's really spoiling us is Lindsay from Erin Lane Bags. I, Lindsay literally said to us, Marley, um, what's your thing? What's your fandom? I'll make one. And I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> so I'm like, oh my goodness, guys guys, what do you want? What do we want to, what do we want to do? What do we want our sheeple to be? So Lindsay is like totally whipping us up something special. We're so excited, super excited to show off. I mean, she's got amazing storage for all kinds of stuff. Her project bags are amazing. Her storage for needles are amazing. I'm like super excited to see what she comes up I mean, with. I'm using, and we, that's right. Oh, nice. My We're going to talk, talk more about storage in a few weeks yeah. uh, on the blog and here. I'm learning that, I mean, yes, I like having nice storage for my crochet hooks, but I can also throw a bunch of hooks together and it's not a problem. The See, knitting needles I'm, like I'm realizing need to be stored more or knitting needles and the cables need to be stored more organized than I feel for crochet hooks. So I'm excited to see what she's sending us. This is great for crochet hooks too. This is a DPN roll. This thing is like fascinating. Okay, I'm gonna show you how cool this is. You ready? Okay, this is the coolest thing. All right, so I gotta, I gotta wrap it up. By the way, can you just appreciate, these are all signature needles. So oh, yes. if y'all know how much they are, you know how much money this thing's worth. Like, yeah. it's crazy. So I told my husband, you I was like- keep that in the die. safe. Yeah, I'm like, you don't, you don't just give this away, right? Okay, so you roll it up. So it folds over the top so that things don't fall out. You roll it up and you have this big strap here. On the strap, you bring it around. There's a magnet right here. Oh. There's a magnet in here. So you put it on and you're like, wait a minute. Everything's gonna fall out, like, right? Okay, no, no, no. The magnet slides. So it tightens up the thing. So if you have like more needles in here, it tightens it up, you know, you don't need it that big. That is so cool. It is the best money I've ever spent. I think I I've never seen anything like that. Them. No, best money I've ever spent. Like the, the magnets in here and it slides. So this one is stable. So now the magnet is down here right now. So I just put it on. So here, I just pull it and it slides. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And it's great for DPNs and uh, crochet hooks. Like I have... Where's my crochet hook one? I, have, I mean, I have so many, you guys. They're everywhere. Yeah, that is like so cool. It really is. Well, maybe it's not over here. And I like Catherine said, I totally echo what you said, Catherine, because like I can throw my crochet hooks in any old bag and they're just there, right? Yeah, but so more. storing these, right? Your circular needles and stuff, like that's that's hard. Crochet hooks. Oh my goodness. That is so neat. I'm telling you, it's the coolest thing. You just roll it up. Nice. Everybody's going to go get a DPN roll now. For real. So every time I was at stitches and I would have, I, I used to teach a class called foreplay, how to master your double pointed needles. Cause you use four oh needles, goodness. right? And I would always bring one of these. And after class, Lindsay would sell out of DPN rolls. Yeah. Go buy them. Yeah. Yeah. Is so that a design that she invented? Yeah, this is hers. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's amazing. Like it's the best thing ever. Like, I mean, this is my other, this is my travel set of DPNs. For nice. Oh my goodness. I love that one. That's like so pretty. And yeah. They're so work. pretty too. Right. Anyways. What a so genius that Lindsay is. Lindsay's awesome. Lindsay is awesome. She's She's my organization superhero. <laughs> Seriously. And she spoils you guys on giveaways. So show her some love because she, she's amazing. She's my best friend, y'all. She is friend. amazing and she never hesitates to spoil you guys on some ever. giveaways. Like ever. Ever, ever. She's In fact, there. sometimes Marley gives away stuff that she didn't even offer. And she's like, okay, sure. <laughs> I know. I will call her. I remember when you first started working for me, you were like, um... I didn't ask for that. I was like, oh, don't worry. You're like, can you ask her? I'm like, sure. <laughs> I literally was like, I literally was like, Marley, you just gave away like three and I only asked for one. So like, <laughs> I'm not calling her. You call her. 
<laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay said to me, she goes, you just tell Chrissy just to call me whenever, just be like, Seriously. this is what I gave away. Okay. You know, yeah, we're, so, we're good now. Lindsay I mean, and I, I we're have good. The same sort of agreement with her. Like if she's like, I'm giving away some of your patterns. Okay. Like, yeah, absolutely. She's absolutely I love, her. love her. Absolutely. Lindsay's the best. She rocks. And I love her sheeple. I mean, I'm like such a geek for like fandom stuff. And like, yeah. she has these little sheep that look like Star Wars or Harry Potter. And like, that just like makes me giddy. I just think it's the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> Um, and then the yarn you guys are using, what yarn did you decide to use? Yes, we are using chic sheep. <laughs> Can you see it? Look at it. Sheep, sheep. I, so I have never worked with chic sheep. Um, I've always wanted to, I am literally giddy. It is the squishiest, softest. I love it so much. And these colors, Thank like, you. I, I think I was like shocked by how vibrant Catherine, I don't know about you, but when it arrived, I'm like, oh my word, that's so much brighter. Cause you know, the pictures online are, yeah. Like, look at that. They're the so pictures bright. online are always under this bright, bright light. Right. So they always look super bright and then yarn gets to you and you're like, oh, that's not what I thought that was going to look like. No, this is way better than I thought it was going to look like. It was it's so exciting. It is actually really great yarn. I had gotten some, I used to write for the Red Heart blog and I didn't know Marley at the time, but no. they had sent me some of that yarn or I had ordered, they had sent me some of that yarn to play with for some of my tutorials and stuff on the site. And I love it. It's a great yarn. The worst, the only thing I have to say about it is that this, I almost said stupid, but I'm not going to say stupid. This silly <laughs> mill. <laughs> <laughs> they just put more uh, knots in it than they were supposed to. Like, that's the worst yeah. thing. And you know what? At the end of the day, if your yarn has more knots than it really should, yeah, it stinks, but it's still good yarn. Like, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it, right. it was not on purpose. I'm aware of it, y'all. I'm just as irritated by it as you are. But um, having said that, if they don't have chic sheep, they can just use a warshed weight yarn available to them, correct? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And, um, I think that we'll even give you some options that you can use, but it's just it wait for, I mean, whatever you've got on hand will work for you. Um, it, you know, I'm, I'm super pumped to you. She keep though. I'm just yeah. going to say, <laughs> I mean, yeah. And what I'm we're just throwing it out there, what we're discovering is just like with crochet, you know, tension, tension affects gauge, but the size of the needle is going to affect it as well. And we're going to talk more about that later, but as crocheters, you already kind of have a sense of that. So look at the label and see what needles it's recommending and then kind of play with it. And you might go up or down a size. So um, just very similar to using the like size G or H crochet hook with the worsted weight yarn. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Pretty easy stuff. Um, I think that's about everything. I think we did, you guys did mention, like, if you're not a crocheter, you can still learn to knit with this workshop. Like it still is good for you. Um, my plan is I'm kind of follow along what Catherine and Chrissy put together. And when they're like, Hey, Marley, we need a video for this. All right, great. I'm going to sit down and I'm, the instructional videos when they're precisely for boot camp. It's going to be like, hey, so you're you're, you know, we're at week 1 boot camp, we're getting started with the first project. Here's here's what you should know at this point and then go through it and then here's what we're going to do and then get started with it. Um I know Chrissy, you and I talked about we're how you know what how long are, is the boot camp? So right now we have it going through about August and Catherine can touch more on that if I'm wrong. Um we have it going through about August, right? So we have it going through about August and um, because the pattern is kind of developing as we go, um, Marley, you're super busy and there's no way we're going to be six months ahead. <laughs> so we have it till about August, but as we get further along, we'll have a more precise date. It might go further. And I don't know, I'm kind of secretly hoping we're just going to love doing this and we're just going to keep doing more advanced skills. That's kind of my secret right. hope. But for right now, it will definitely be weekly through August and the bi-weekly lives here Thursdays um, through August as well. Right. You know, it's funny because when I used to teach at the yarn shop, um, 
I usually would take the, I I always taught the beginner knitters and the beginner crocheters. And I would always get them through like knitting 101. And then we would go essentially to like a knitting 201. And then we would pick a project. It was like, so this is the next, like we always had our class project, but then it was like, all right, so what do you want to learn now? I want to learn to make a sweater. Okay. Let's, let's, this is going to be our project. I want to make socks. Okay. This is what we're going to learn, you know? And then I always got the, well, I want to make them on circulars. Nope. You'll make your second pair on circulars. The first pair Uh we're going to make on DPNs, you know? And, you know, I I would just, I literally would walk them through so many different projects from, you know, little baby knitters to more advanced knitters. Um, And I I like doing that. I mean, it makes sense to me. And I think the good thing about that is, so just so you know, Catherine, I think I told Chrissy too, that's what we came up with, is I was going to try and make um, sort of like instant gratification projects, not little tiny things. Like you're kind of like, what am I ever going to do with this? But something that I really feel like the skills you're learning this, you can make this, whatever this is. Um, awesome. and then I just lost my train of thought. Hold on. I'll jump in while you think about it. Okay. I, I also am adding in, in the future weeks when we've de- developed a little bit more skills in this boot camp. I'm adding links to, appropriate patterns that you already have that it looks like, oh, I think maybe we can try this now. (laughs) So just letting people take a look at, okay, this, you know, this very simple stockinette thing, I think we've got those skills now. So you might want to go try this on your own. So that'll be there too. Yeah. I know what I was going to say. I was going to say, so now that people have an idea of how long this is, yes, I know we all have sort of like our works in progress right now. Maybe you're working on a big Afghan or something for Christmas already. If you are, kudos to you. But (laughs) if you are like, you know, I can't, I just can't commit to something. You know what? Jump in. You never know. It might be something that you're like, man, this is just, it's just that little bit of something different from your crochet that when your hand starts to cramp, and you want to get away, believe it or not, when you, when my hand cramps with crochet, I will start to knit. When my hand starts to knit, uh, cramp with knitting, I go to crochet and it's just enough different as far as the muscles I'm using that it, it helps. So it could be something that you're looking for. You never know. I mean, it's something fun. Um, I do want to also mention something that's different from crochet. Knitting is very ambidextrous. You use both your right and your left hand. So even if you're left-handed, you can knit right-handed because mm-hmm. I'm still using my left hand and my right hand. Now there are those few very um, special souls. And I don't mean that as like, you know, special is like a bad way. I'm just like, there are some people who literally can't think of knitting off the left onto the right. They have to knit off the right onto the left. Like I get that. Mm-hmm. There are some people like that. But for the most part, I have taught so many lefties just, just how to knit without being like, look, this is right-handed or this is left hand. It's like, this is knitting. That's really where it is. This is knitting because even right-handed knitters will knit backwards. And it's just the exact same way left-handed knitters knit. Like it's, you can go mm-hmm. both ways. Mm-hmm. Like if we go right. into Enchilock, you knit both ways. Like you want to talk like the ultimate bi crafty both way person. Like <laughs> that's the way it goes, you know? So if you are a left-handed crocheter and you're like, well, I'm not really sure because, you know, I hold my yarn in my right hand. I don't hold my yarn in my left hand. You can still join us. Maybe pick up throwing, be a thrower mm-hmm. instead of a continental. As I said, it's the same move motion. It's the same movement. You're still wrapping your needle the same way you're just holding your yarn in a different hand. Does right. that make sense? So you can do this. So whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you can do this. Absolutely. It definitely, it definitely makes sense. I will say I'm, I'm realizing that my left hand is going to need a lot of practice because I, I, I'm definitely feeling it as I'm, as I'm moving my hands. I'm like, oh, my right hand is like, it's got it. My mm-hmm. left hand is like, oh, I don't use this very much. Okay. Right. Like there's yeah, definitely right. a learning curve. I'm feeling, I'm feeling that even though I understand the um, motions, I don't have the muscle memory yet. That's exactly. Right. I know that I will, but I don't have it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to be patient with yourself. I think that's the biggest yeah. thing we all need to take away from this is you got to be patient with yourself, especially if you're doing these classes after a full day of work, you've just made dinner for the family and you're sitting down, you just have that moment of time with your knitting just then. If something's not clicking at that moment, set it down, walk away. It's okay. And don't think, oh, I'm a loser. Oh, I can't, I'm never going to knit. I can only crochet. That's not true. 
You right. can do this. Cause at the end of the day, y'all, I tell all of you knitters and crocheters, it's just sticks and string. You're doing mm-hmm. the same thing. Like you're just pulling a loop through a loop. It, you can do this. Like you just yeah. be patient with yourself. It's all about the muscle memory and making sure you're creating that neuro pathway from your brain and your eyes to tell your hands what it needs to do. Cause like at some point your brain's reading it and it's like, okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. And your eyes are looking at it. They're like, yeah, we can do that. And your hands are like, la, 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 la. We're going to Disney World, right? They're just like, I'm not going to do that. And it happens. And you can be like the most intelligent person ever. Like I, I've taught um, like um, district attorneys how to knit before, you know, like super duper intelligent people that manage so many things in their life. And they would come to knitting at night and they would struggle and I was like girl you had a full day (laughs) like let's just chill out give yourself some pain and it was when she finally would like be an hour and a half into class of a two-hour class she would finally have relaxed enough to finally start to get things to flow but at first it was like oh my gosh and she would just get so mad Mm -hmm. and she was like my hands just won't do what I'm telling them to do and I said I get it it will happen though it will work out everything's going to be fine. And if you believe me, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Because be she fine. said so. <laughs> because I said so. <laughs> my, my track team on the back of their shirts, they're so cute. They, they were like, um, Hey, we should have a quote of something that Marley, you know, that coach coach bird says all the time. They call me coach bird. They just said something that coach bird says all the time. So one of them goes, we should say, I believe in you. And it, can I just tell you that it warmed my heart? Cause oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. That's a good one. She says that all the time. So they ended up saying, believe and achieve, but it was the same sort of, it was the premise of yeah. always saying, I believe in you. And they're like, that's huge. Cause you know, they're doing the same thing. They're learning how to throw a shot put in a discus, which is yeah. so weird. And it's different. It's muscle memory. And that, you know, they look awkward at first and, but I'm like, you can do this. I, I believe in you. And I yeah. feel the same way with all of you. You can do this. I believe in you. So believe in yourselves. Yes. I love it. I love it. Love yeah. it too. Cool. Good. And it's not, it's definitely not um, meant to be overwhelming at all. Like Marley said, you know, our homework goes for a whole week, right? Mm-hmm. So for this whole week, your quote unquote homework was to practice is to practice casting on and um, I'm sorry, slip knot casting on and trying out the knit stitch. So it's not something that's meant to be like, well, overnight, I'm going to need you to make a pair of socks right. and then get back to me. <laughs> No, I mean, we get it. Like everybody's busy, right? You got a lot going on, but it's definitely like Marley said, even if you have something going on already, even if you're smack dab in the middle of week three of tournament of stitches and you're like, I can't take on another thing. Trust me, you can. I encourage you. It's really, I have loved most of the time when I crochet, it's with a goal in mind and I'm in a mission. And so I'm like, going full speed ahead. And so I've really loved the moments that I just take a break. I sit down with my knitting needles. I'm very intentional about practicing the stitches. I'm trying to make sure that they look the way that they're supposed to. And it's a slower process. So I'm really enjoying that. And I know eventually I'll get faster, right? I mean, that's the way it works. Every time you try something new, I said to the team the other day, I, you know, I looked like a baby giraffe learning how to walk, but it's fine because I'll get there. <laughs> Eventually I will walk. Right. And then I'll run. So it'll be fine. You're um, a cute giraffe. <laughs> the best little giraffe you ever saw. The cutest little giraffe. <laughs> But it's true and it's exciting too. And it's, and Marley means what she says. I mean, she loves making sure that people know that they can do something. There's nothing outside of your reach. It's just trusting the process and allowing yourself the grace to continue to stumble through those messy beginning steps. You will get there. It will happen. Yes, absolutely. And guys, I mean, I know what it means about giving yourselves grace. Like I'm sitting here working on first square of the week two tournament of stitches because I have not been able to even like touch it because it's just been it's been crazy at my house to say the least but hey I just finished it (laughs) did it did it got it done oh my gosh um but you can do this I believe in you 
All right. So we have been on here quite a bit. Uh, is there anything that they need to know? I know, Chrissy, that when they go to that blog post right there in the first paragraph, there's an area for them to sign up. Um, yep. It says Buy Crafty Bootcamp is free. Enlist here today. Uh, click on that. And what is it that they are signing up for when they click on that? I just want to make sure that they are fully aware of what's happening. Yep. So when you click on that, basically that's what, what enrolls you in our bootcamp, right? So that's how we know that you're joining us. Um, that is where I'm going to be picking some giveaway winners from that, in, that enrollment list. You know, I like my giveaways. Um, and you'll get weekly emails from me. So it'll be like a more personal engagement with you rather than someone just jumping on the blog and checking us out, which is also totally fine. But if you sign up, it's a little more personal. We're going to be chatting with you. Catherine and I will share with you some of our, our struggles so that you know that you're not alone. <laughs> Um, we'll share some of those pain points and we'll be heading out some, uh, crocheter tips for those of you that are crocheters, just little tidbits that you may already know that might help you have an edge up as you're learning. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. Is there anything else? My, my internet's going, I hope you can hear me. My internet's going real bad. Okay. Um, we can hear you. So it's, it's fading out over here, but I want to, I just wanted to add that as people are doing their work, I'd love to see it. So obviously here on Facebook, but I'm more active on Marley's Instagram. So anyone who uses Instagram, um, I would, I would love to see those project pictures, just tag Marley and, and mm -hmm. we'll see. And if you have questions, yeah. let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag Marley bird or hashtag Marley made me do it. <laughs> yeah. That's it. It works. <laughs> Marley made me do it. Yes, um, it fantastic. Awesome. Well, this has been great. I'm excited to watch all of these new knitters blossom out there and have even more people in my yes. bike crafty community. Um, and what will be really exciting is when we do the next big bike crafty event and you guys are going to have to decide, well, which one do I do? Like, it'll be the first time that you really have that decision of, well, am I going to crochet this one or am I going to knit this one? And so yeah, the struggle is real. You guys, the struggle is real. <laughs> I'm so excited for that. Yeah, yes. it's really cool. Um, the links to the needles and stuff uh, like that, Catherine, are they in that blog post so that they, if they were like, Hey, I want to check out these needles, where can they find the link to them? Probably yes, the they are. Do you have that accessible, Chrissy? I don't, I don't have it on my phone right now, but it should be. I There's an ultimate guide to knitting needles. There's an ultimate guide to knitting needles for beginners that okay. I believe is linked to in the introduction post to this series. All right. So I'm looking it up right now. Ultimate guide. And then there's also, there's also the separate, that's the knitting. I think it's like the best knitting needles for beginners, I think is what you called it. That's the one I updated. Okay. All right. So I am copying the knitting needles one copy link address and I will put it in the video description box of this video so that way if people want that let me see if it'll let me edit the video I don't know if it will because hopefully I didn't and just, also like, just remind I'll, I'll, I'll share more in each blog post about each one and also just a reminder that we're going to go month by month so we're working with the Chiago ones this month and so we'll be showing you a lot of those in these videos and these posts this month. And then we'll tell you more about, you know, whichever one we're doing next month, Signature, whichever Jimmy Beans or Prim. Um, so you'll get more details as we go also about cool. each of those yeah. things that we're Fantastic. using. Fantastic. All right, everybody. Well, it's about 930 here at night. Um, I'm exhausted. I'm supposed to be getting the Tournament of Stitches stuff up tonight. It'll happen. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm That's so okay. tired. That's I can try okay. and get up early. I have, I have the patterns written. Like it's really just the video. So right. you know what I might do is I'll get up in the morning and put the patterns up. Just be like, the videos mm. are going to be delayed. They just, they just are what they are. So, I mean, if y'all don't already know, John's grandmother passed away, who was very much like his mother. Um, the funeral is next week. Um, I have some personal family stuff going on. Um, my parents just moved here to Indiana. In that process, I had to fly back to Colorado to pick up Penske trucks and drive them back here 18 hours. Um, I think I, I, one, two, three, four, I think I did that five times. Um, mm -hmm. So 
it's been crazy. Uh, my son was just diagnosed with something that we are, it's of concern, uh, has to do with his heart. So we're dealing with that. So all of that is to say my plate is completely full and I'm doing the best I can. So please bear with me. Um, but we're going to be, and we're you're doing great. Time. We're doing great. Yes, we're are. doing great. Everything's going to be great. Um, I have, I have the best team behind me. I have the best friend. I have the best testers. I have the best family. I have the best people. So it's, it's, it's a okay. But, um, yeah, I, I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm going to go to bed. Good. The, boss, it, girl. the boss said, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't. Oh, I, love, I love when you get really close to the microphone. <laughs> it makes me feel really important. <laughs> Catherine needs oh, a microphone. You need to get in on this. Catherine. I do. We need, we need to get I your do, microphone. I do. That needs to happen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it from us, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday night. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. I mean, I'll get something posted. We'll be online tomorrow for you. We'll be we'll around. Yes, somewhere. <laughs> um, all right. I'll talk to you guys later. Yes. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.